good. <laughs> so as you might be able to tell, I don't know what I'm going to title this video. It's another more serious one and I don't really want to make this, but I just feel like this is going to be the best way, I don't know, to communicate <sighs> the choices I'm making. <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen, and I mentioned it in one of my last videos that about the swimsuit line and how it's not doing great. And I only sold a couple. I've still only sold a couple. And with everything else that I just have going on right now, I started reselling, which I really love. And I have a booth in a, a vintage mall at uh, Love Me Two Times Tulsa. <laughs> and it's been going really great for me and it's taking up a lot of my time. And I just don't, it, it's so hard to force myself to work on anything swimsuit related, especially with every time I put effort in, it's just kind of all for nothing is kind of how it's been. And I think I'm just at the point now where I need to, or, I think the best choice for me is to cut my losses and I'm going to discount all the swimsuits and sell them off and just, I don't know, it's sad to say, but give up on it. So I've came to the conclusion of doing that, like I mentioned, I just don't have the time and I just, it's one of those things I just dread doing, any, like posting on Instagram anymore, it's like, there's little things I know I could do, like buying ads, but it's just like, I don't want to put any more money into something that really just isn't working out. So yeah, it's just, I I mean, I invested all my own personal money into, it took me a long time to save all the money that I needed to do that. And I had, I didn't even have it all. I didn't even un realize how much I needed. And basically every penny that I made last year went to it. And I I sold my car. We only had one car for like six months, which is fine. It was okay, but like I don't know. I made a, well, me and my husband made a lot of sacrifices for me to try the swimsuit thing out, which I thought at minimum would do better than what it did. Like yeah, it's it just by far just tanked, and it's a huge bummer. Um, I don't know. I've 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 cried about it. <laughs> it but I mean things could be worse, I guess. I'm not like financially ruined, but it's just like, yeah, that money that I saved, I could have enjoyed my life during that time a little bit more or like we could have taken a vacation or fixed the numerous things we need to fix around the house. But you know, I guess it's just one of those things. I in retrospect, there's a lot of things that I would have done differently. Like, I would have had more people invested in with me. Like, I hired professionals to do work, but it's like, it was just a job to them. If I actually had more creative minds who were invested and could give me solid input, it's like, oh, well, I'm not sure of that because, you know, we could have, I don't know, I feel like that could have helped. I should have gauged interest a little bit more. Um, I should have made more people aware and just started making an Instagram and documenting more of the process as best as I could. And, but I don't know. I made the, all I can say is I made the absolute best decisions that I could at that time. If I had more money and could have made the swimsuits cheaper, because basically how it works is with having the um, company that I use manufacture the swimsuit pieces and the design, how it works is they, so like it's a learning curve. So with the first one, it's gonna take them more time versus the last one, essentially. Like, you know, once you hit a moment where you've gotten used to it, you're much quicker at it. So, and also with buying in bulk, those things matter. But of course I couldn't buy that much in bulk. I think I could only, I think I I did the minimum on each design, which is, I want to say 120 units. Um, sometimes it's more just depending on what they sew. So it 
you know, with having such a small batch, it makes them very expensive. And also, I wish I would have refined the designs more myself before going through the process of having samples made because that was super expensive. But yeah, I, I guess it's just a lot of minor things, but a lot of minor things add up. And I don't know, like I said, I am still happy with how they turned out. I'm all, in all honesty, I do feel proud of myself for accomplishing what I did with it, especially basically all on my own. It was a lot to orchestrate. You know, I did a whole photo shoot. <laughs> I was the model. I was one of the models. I organized the whole thing. I got the, picked the location. You know, I asked um, some friends and um, this one girl I know here in town and I got every, you know, booked it with the photographer and I bought all the props. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, yeah, I did all of that on my own. And I, so I was also um, directing the photo shoot as well while I'm trying to model and also try to document it to make content. It was, I was so exhausted. And I ended up having to do it twice because the first shoot, there was a lot of pictures that were missing that I, that were crucial or just didn't turn out as good as I wanted them to. And yeah, you know, I'm, I am proud of myself for doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. So it's a it's a weird feeling. It's like maybe I do regret it a little bit. I don't, but it it just kind of is what it is, and I'm just gonna have to take it as a learning lesson ultimately. But I did just want to make a video, just kind of say sh sharing that I would be marking them down. You know, especially now that you know this next summer's here basically, and I you know, I'd rather mark them down now than December when no one wants any swimsuits. So I'm going to do half off and see what sells for a little while. I'm, sh you know, there's really, it's a really small amount. I think there's like 20 smalls in each uh, colorway, in each style. And there's like less and less of each size. So if you have your eye on something, now's your time because, I mean, there's a very high likelihood that I, I mean, there's definitely not going to be any more swimsuits made exactly like these. I've, you know, thought in the future, like, maybe there's a possibility I could make more only if I could get, you know, more people involved to help me make better choices, um, you know, if something crazy happens and my Etsy gets popping or I don't know. It's it's highly unlikely. <laughs> I don't, I, I mean, I, I really like designing and I don't know. I think I just bit off way more than what I could chew, especially for my skill set and my network and where I'm located. I think all of those things highly played against me. And, you know, I, yeah, I tried. <laughs> I mean, at least I I found something that I've just kind of fell into right now. And I do still have in making the, you know, my third generation nation bags and all that. And, you know, I, I'm probably just one of those people that are meant to be poor for the rest of their life. It's, it's fine. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll, I think what I, my plan is going to be is cancel my Shopify account because that's $30 down the drain every single month. I don't need a web domain. I'm going to cancel that and I need to figure out what I'm going to do about my freaking email. But yeah, I'm going to just have my, I posted them on a separate Etsy. So I'm going to have link that down below. Once I get all of that figured out by the time I get this video up in the next couple days and have them all for sale at half off. And hopefully at least I can recoup some of the money that I put into it. But I don't know. It sucks. <laughs> I don't know. It, it sucks like to admit defeat too. And it's, you know, I, I can't blame anyone. Like, I understand they're expensive and it's like, 
I, I really haven't even got it off the ground. Like I have like 600 followers on Instagram and like, I don't know. It, I get it. It's, it's hard to trust companies and it's just like, I believe in the quali quality that they are. And I honestly don't even know how many people go swimming to be honest. I, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, but I'm ready to close the chapter on it, be done with it ultimately, and just move on from life. You know what I mean? I think this right at this point is just kind of holding me back and it's just causing a lot of stress and anxiety and yeah well it is what it is <laughs> i feel like i'm just talking in circles at this point so i'm guessing this video is going to be pretty short but yeah i don't know <laughs> uh i'll see you in the next one i guess